And there he goes. Caught a fish. Hey everybody, Fishing Adventures TV back with you. Just found this random pond on Google um, Google Maps. A little cold front on the way, that should help. I have no idea if, when, what, who, anything in this pond. No idea if there's even fish in it. Let's go find out. We're at Hadout Pond in Navasota, Texas. Let's go find out if there's any fish in it. I know there's ducks. Well, those ducks must know the rain's coming right there. They're hiding under the bench. Well, let's see if there's any fish in this pond. Okay, I won't mess with you guys. Jesus. You can tell the water level's up. So, let's see what we... Oh, there's fish out there. I can see them swarming, uh, um, flopping around. Right in front of this cold front. Uh-oh. The lure's not running straight. Yeah. This is not running straight. Nothing yet, but here is, a, whoa, almost fun. Evidence that other people do fish out here. So, Ooh, here comes this beginning of the front. Distinct coolness in the air all of a sudden. Look, right there. Look guys, look at this. This is what I just picked up out of this pond. Okay, I've seen um, some crawdad crawfish holes, but this is probably their primary forage. So we're gonna switch to a rooster tail or a lure that more closely mimics this. This guy, I don't know what's wrong with you. You're not fighting at all. He's alive. Let's get you back. Let's get you back, buddy. Mud bug. Boop, boop. Oh, you're gonna fight now, huh? Okay, you wanna fight? You wanna fight? You wanna fight, huh? You wanna fight? You wanna fight, huh? You wanna fight? Let's fight. Ah, let's fight. Let's fight. Ah, let's fight. Are we excited for something? Hooked up. Finally hooked one. That's a little bass. Awesome. Awesome. All right. He was right along the shore on this wind blowing side. Yeah, a little largy. I knew there was fish in this pond. I knew it. So I'm using my favorite rooster tail lure. If I could only fish one lure the rest of my life, it would probably be a rooster tail. All right, a little rooster tail bassy in this little pond in Navasota, Texas. See back in the water and we'll talk about why I chose this lure. Good. So I intentionally chose this size and color because it mimics bait fish, the size. The gold blade is good when the water is a little bit off colored and in cloudy conditions as we have here. Okay, I'm not sure how this happened. Crawdad holes. And look, there's one in it. Ah, <laughs> that was cool. Let's see if I can see if I can get it. Oh, he's in there. He's too far down. I can't get him. <laughs> I saw him though. There's another reason to use those brown colors that mimics the crawdads that are obviously living in this thing. Here's one, got one, hooked up. Another little bass, burying himself in the weeds, get him on the shore. He was just slow rolled again, or same as the last one, right off the weed edge, right off the uh, vegetation edge. Awesome, pretty little fish. So this is another indication that crawdad, this mimics that crawdad color we know now are living in the lake. Pond, whatever. That is a big dead crawfish. Kind of a bluey brown with red highlights. So something got after that thing. Probably a raccoon. I'm 
trying to hook this bobber. There must not be line attached to it. Otherwise, I could have probably hooked the line. I think I am going to switch to the 16 pounds because I think some of these fish are small. Or I should have one in this same color. There's a fish. Maybe I won't switch. Number three. So here's the deal, guys. Pay attention to your surroundings. I started off with a different color rooster tail and got no bites. But once I saw that crawdad in the brown, I switched to the brown bodied rooster tail. And this is the third fish and I've had four bites on it. So pay attention to your surroundings. There we go. Awesome. Bloop. Thank you very much. See you next time. Yes, we will do almost anything to catch a fish for you guys. Um, I'm not sure how smart this is, but there's a teeny little pool right here. And I can't tell. Caution? Okay, I'll be cautious. Doesn't look like there's anything over there though. Stick fish. Is it cool to take the egg and eat it? I mean, if it's just out here in the middle of nowhere, or should I leave it? I'm gonna leave it. Well, we made full circle of the pond, caught three fish, had five bites. Oh, we got four fish, if we can land it. Yes, <laughs> okay. Just as I was starting my outro, we caught number four right when the rain's starting. Oh, I gotta get the pliers for this, bro. Man, you're forcing me now, bro, to have to try to catch at least one more. Bro. Bro nizzle. There it goes. Awesome. It's bloop. This cold front really should be pushing these fish up making them aggressive that was maybe a bite maybe a stick i think we should there it is there it is okay that's the definitely the biggest fish of the day i seriously doubt there's a giant fish in this pond but you never know that is a nice fish that's a nice fish oh yeah nice fish nice fish look at that guy look at this guy that's what you do. You find cool places to fish and just get out there and fish them. Golly, look at this guy. Gotcha, buddy. Yes, look at this fat two pounder. Holy crap, he's been caught before too. Look, no, maybe not. This fat two pounder. Wow, he really wouldn't look that good. Look at his belly, he's eating. Okay, so we just found this little pond in this little town of Navasota and we've walked around it once, probably an hour. We've had seven bites, five fish, including this fat, he's probably a pound and a quarter, fat bass. Just get out there and fish, guys. Get out there and have a good time.
Alrighty, adventurers, that's gonna do it for this one. We fished for a little more than an hour. The keys were, I knew a cold front was coming, and that's usually good for fishing, but never seen this pond before. No idea. I didn't even know if there was any fish in it, so we just drove by, Google Maps, found it. Here we are. Started off with a perch-colored rooster tail. Didn't get any bites. Found that live crawdad and multiple crawdad holes in kind of a brownish pattern. Switched to the brown body rooster tail with a gold blade and immediately started catching fish. We ended up with five fish, seven bites. Break down the pond. Pay attention to your surroundings. Use what's around you to pattern and catch the fish. Use the wind to position the fish as well. Like, uh, I bet you a lot of these fish will come right into this sh windblown shore, especially on a bigger body of water. Yeah, the wind's really picking up. We got a little cold front. Anyway, thank you for watching. Tight lines. Fishing adventures. We found this little ditch under the road. We are gonna find out if there's any fish in it. Well, let's make a few casts with our rooster tail here. Oh, fire ants. Ouch, not cool. Golly, I was standing right on the fire ant bed. Dang it. Golly, everywhere. Dang it, that hurts. And they're still on me. Stupid fire ass. There's a gar, I see a gar. I see a gar right there, right in front of me. He's right in front of me. Oh, he went after it. He went after it, and he's got it, he's got it. You see the gar? This will be really surprising if we can land this guy. I'm just gonna try to really gently lead him to the shallow water. I don't know if we're gonna be able to land this guy. Six pound line and a, just a rooster tail. I'm just gonna lead him right to the shore. Hey, we did land him, okay. Okay, crazy catch. I did not bring my pliers, they're up in the truck. And he did break the line finally. All right, all right, wait, 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 wait. I want to get my lure back. And there he goes. Caught a fish. That was crazy. That bat, that agar caught him on a rooster tail, six pound line, and my ultralight setup in that tiny little hole right there. I watched the gar on the surface and I watched him come eat my lure. Now I'm out of bait, so I, it's just time to go.